Um, I look forward to giving you an update on power vision and our fluid vision intraocular lens. I would just like to mention before I get started that I don't usually bring my presentation uh, up with me to the podium. However, ironically, in this forum, I can see you clearly, I can see my notes clearly, but I can't see the preview monitors. Um, and there is no solution really today that allows you to have clear vision at all distances, at least not yet. Which brings me to my presentation. PowerVision has developed the first true shape-changing, fluid-driven intraocular lens. It mimics the eye's natural accommodative process, creating a continuously variable monofocal, allowing clear vision at all distances. It's designed to mimic uh, accommodation and restore true accommodation. We've proven stable visual outcomes in 150 patients out to 36 months in both uh, single and multi-center studies. And we'll talk about that data in a little bit. And as many of you know, we've entered into a remarkable uh, partnership with Alcon, the market leader in intraocular lenses, to bring this technology to the market. Many of you are familiar with how the lens works. Here's a brief summary. When the eye moves to its natural, accommodated state, the capsular bag squeezes a tiny amount of fluid, uh, less than a drop, from the periphery of the lens into the center. This inflates the lens, giving near vision. When the eye attempts to move to its disaccommodated state, the capsular bag squeezes fluid the other way, and this deflates the lens, giving far vision. I'd like to update you on the clinical outcomes of our fourth generation fluid vision lens, which, I say, as I said, we've implanted in over 150 eyes. Our results, as recently presented at the ESCRS in Copenhagen, show excellent, stable outcomes and proven accommodative function out to 36 months. In the upper left, we see distance visual acuity, comparing single and multi-center results, and comparing time points all the way out to 36 months as excellent and stable. In the bottom left, we see near and intermediate vision, very good results, again, stable. Upper right, we show subjective accommodation measured by defocus, over three diopters, stable. And interestingly, uh, on the bottom right, we show objective accommodation. This is a patient response to an alternating near and distant stimulus. We show an average of one and a half diopters uh, of accommodation measured objectively. To try to bring the point about stability of the intracapsular implant uh, to life, I just wanted to show you just a few slit lamp photos showing our implant at both 12 months and 36 months. You can see, as we've demonstrated from our data, but you can see in these images, super clear capsules, no evidence of fibrosis or any kind of capsular reaction to our implant, something I think we've proven uh, very effectively with our data over time. One of our goals, as I said, is to mimic natural accommodation uh, and one measure of that is the speed of response of our device. This is a very uh, simple bar chart with a kind of a PhD's worth of math behind it. Um, the punchline is that our lens is fast. It's as fast or faster than the accommodative response speed of a 29-year-old. Um, this is an important factor in trying to uh, mimic natural accommodation. Our Lens has evolved over many generations of development. Iteration uh, is key in this area and has been key for us. We started with a conceptual model of how we would go about using fluid to create accommodation. We moved to a Gen 1 non-optical version of our device in blind eyes and used, created a definitive proof of concept. Moved from there to a non-foldable prototype to a foldable prototype that didn't actually make it into the clinic, to our Gen 4 device, our fluid vision lens, again, 150 implants, first implanted through a four millimeter incision, then a, uh, a three and a half millimeter incision, and uh, the results uh, that you just saw are from that lens. We are moving now to our Generation 5 implant, the Fluid Vision 2020, offering uh, more than twice the accommodation of the uh, fluid vision lens, 
and allowing us to achieve 2020 vision across to all distances. The design of the Fluid Vision 2020 is complete. We are in the final verification and validation efforts for our device. We expect this product to be actually even a little better than we imagined and in the clinic uh, very soon. I thought I'd try to give you a sneak preview of the device uh, performance. These images are actual bench testing results. They're not uh, simulations. And along the top is a set of images from a advanced uh, multifocal design at a variety of distances from near to far. Along the bottom are the comparative images from our Fluid Vision 2020. And you can see two things. One, of course, the images are crisp at all distances. And also, we show greater brightness and better contrast uh, at all distances since we are not splitting light, one of the beauties of a continuously variable monofocal design. PowerVision will never stop innovating. We won't stand still. We are about to introduce our Gen 5 device. After that, we'll be shrinking the incision size, adding tericity to our platform, and ultimately introducing post-implant adjustment through a 2.8 millimeter incision. We look forward to keeping you up to date in this forum, and thank you for your attention. Thank you.